In the last lesson we learned how we can calculate the circumference of our tire and in this lesson we want to connect uh, this value to the position of our car and calculate the right uh, rotation. So let's make this one smaller again. Something, uh, something like this. Um, and take a look at what we need. So um, first of all, we need to read out where our car is right now. So I will drag in the car null object and enable position. And we, we for now, we just want to move in this direction here. So if we take a look at our car, move right here. So we see it moves in X. Um, maybe we should rotate it because right now it's pointing in the uh, wrong direction. So I will rotate it for 180 degrees. So if we are now moving to the right, we move in the X dimension. Okay, so we want to create an output port for coordinates, position, X. Maybe just connect the result node to check if everything works fine. And we see everything is okay. So you can delete this one again. Okay, so now we know how far our um, car moved from the root of our coordinate system. So we simply need a, a range mapper. Over here. And we know that if our car moves this far, like what is um, our the circumference of our tire, then the tire has to rotate uh, 360 degrees. So I will connect the position X of my car to the input. Take a look at the range mapper. So if we move this far, so this, this value here must be my input upper. So I will connect this one here, create an input port for input upper. So this is my range from zero to this value. My output range has to be set on degrees and it should rotate from zero to 360 degrees. So when my car is at position X zero, my um, tire should be rotated zero degrees. And when the car reaches 215.835, the tire has to be rotated 360 degrees. And we won't check clamp lower or clamp upper because we want the range mapper to continue this calculation when we move uh, further away than this value. So now we calculated this one and we will now take uh, one of our tires so maybe directly this one, which is wheel two. And we will take the rotation to null object because we want to use this as a controller for our rotation. Just drag, in, uh, drag it in. And let's check which axis we need. So go on the rotation, rotate it, and we see that we need the pitch axis. Create an input port, coordinates, rotation, pitch and connect our nodes to the pitch rotation of our um, tire. Okay, and if I now take my car and start to move it forwards, you see that the tire spins, but it spins in the wrong direction. So let's open it again, click on the range mapper, and just type in minus 360 degrees. Close it again, and now it works perfectly. Very, very good, very precise. So you can see that it really rolls on the ground. And what we can do now is just open our Expresso again and drag in all our um, tires here. Three and four. Create the input ports for the pitch axis. Last one, resize them and just connect them all. So um, we can do this because all our tires have um, the same size. So if you have a car where, for example, the 
um, rear tires are much bigger than the front tires, uh, you have to build um, two setups. Or you can just do it in this setup, but two trees where you calculate the circumference of your front and your wheel tires and, and then just connect it also this way. So again, if I now take my car and move it from left to right, you see that it works very, very nice. So very precise. If we take a closer look, it works really, really good. Okay, so now we have a very simple car rig where we can move the car and the tires will roll. But we have a <clears throat> small problem here because right now we only read out the um, X position of our car. So if we move exactly in this uh, in this dimension, everything will work fine. But if we start to drive in this direction, for example, you will see that if I move the car, the tires uh, move too slow because we only move a little bit in this axis here. So right now we can only move in one direction and uh, we are not able to make any big curves or something. And this is something that we want to have. So in this lesson, you learned how you can connect the um, tires to the position of your car and make them rotate in the right way. And in the next lesson, we will take a look at this problem that we just uh, found and we will fix that.